للقرآن تال بصوت ندي بارع في حفظه منه يغتذي He was of the companions of the Quran رحمه الله تعالى with his melodious voice if you think we have some booty in our voices you can imagine how our father was رحمه الله تعالى He was a master in its memorization that I can write a book on right Sheikh Abdul Rahman and the Quran منه يغتذي it was his sustenance because as I'm going to tell you later he fasted many years of his life of course the 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 mashru'ah, the permitted fast, but the sustenance, because he'd eat once a day, very, very little. Anyway, so from 1967, after the fall of Jerusalem, until about 2018, about 50 years, right, or more, when he was in that strength, 50 years, my dear brothers and sisters. Sometimes if we're consistent for a month, oh, we think we're awliya, we're saints. Talking about 50 years consistently. He used to recite, and my brother, please correct me, this is an amanat here, shahada, right? Tell me now that you've, you've exaggerated or added. This is my memory, I'm 46 years old and I remember this. I left Jordan about 22 years ago, so it's not that far ago. And I traveled with him a few times as well. He used to recite 10 ajza daily from memory, because he became a hafil at the age of 13 in Nablus, Palestine. Ten ajza from memory. He would complete two khatams a week, at least. Two khatams a week, because if we, at least three days, he'd complete the khatam on the Quran. I worked it out just now before I came, because I said, let's do some justice to his legacy. That's about 104 khatams a year, times 50 of his years, jazakallah, of consistent. He lived, he was born in 1933, and he passed just uh, about a week ago. So he lived close to 91 years. That's 105 or four khatams a year times 50. That's 5,200 khatams in his lifetime, as far as we remember consistently. May Allah grant him qabool, ya Rab, and make the Quran his intercessor and make the Quran a proof for him. Amen, ya 